Thank you so much. And uh, as we continue to learn Google Ads, in this video, I would be sharing about the campaign level settings. In my last video, we've learned about account level settings and the kind of uh, you know account level settings we have and how they are used and the functional significance of account level settings, right? So the account level settings, you can't change them every day. They remain same. And whatever settings you give to the account level, every campaign will take the same setting. Similarly, now in this video, we will learn about campaign level settings. Remember, campaign level settings, after you create the campaign, then you create the ad group. And if you have 100 ad groups in one campaign, Still, all the ad groups will take the same campaign level settings. You can't change the campaign level settings at the ad group level. Remember, that's exactly why I'm taking you through the structure. First is account level, then campaign level, ad level, ad group level, and ad and keyword level, right? So without much ado, let's jump in to learn the campaign level settings, right? So whenever you create a campaign, so I click on search, uh, plus new campaign and select the new campaign. And here I'm selecting a campaign without a goal. Now, if you're very experienced with Google Ads, you don't have to go through select a campaign without a goal. You can directly know, you know the objective, you can directly choose the objective or the goal and then go create a campaign because you don't want to maneuver around the entire interface and see all the settings and then pick one, right? You know what is your perfect goal. You want to achieve this. So for example, I want only website traffic so I can directly go because I, I, I don't want anything else. I simply want to drive traffic to my site, right? Or I want only conversion so I can directly go choose sales and, 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 and system will only give me those features which will help me drive sales and all right but just to just to you know help you navigate easily so that you know you get to a point that you start understanding things at a better level at, at a level like an experienced candidate so i will start with something called create a campaign without a goal now i go with the search campaign so right so search campaign now when i click on search campaign it is asking me these three things and uh, i have already taught you oh i'm going to i'm going to teach you about the call only campaigns and the purpose of website visit and the app downloads in my future videos but in my future videos but this video is particularly catered to learning about the campaign level setting so i will not select any of them so i selected the search network campaign don't select any of them because they have a particular purpose you watch the entire videos in the channel you understand each feature and its functional significance so i'm not selecting anything i click on continue now when i click on continue of creating a campaign and every time you create a campaign google will ask you to give certain campaign level settings right so these are the campaign level settings i just take you through first one is campaign name net networks and all and networks where you have certain things locations languages audiences budget bidding and then you have other settings like conversions, ad scheduling, ad rotation, and ad extensions as well. There's a particular place where you can go and add the extensions. I would generally not recommend for a fresher to write extensions from here. You ignore the extensions, click on save and continue. You go to a separate tab called add extensions. There you can create it. And from that place, you can add whatever extensions you want to add to a campaign. There's several types of extensions. That's my next video. So uh, I would not want to jump into extensions, but remember it is recommended not to use extensions from this place for a fresher right so i would just want to move out of the interface so i have something written in my document so i can take you through here so whenever you create a campaign remember there's several campaign level settings you have yeah so basically they are divided into two parts first one is standard settings second one is advanced settings now because the interface uh, is, is is changed completely you don't have standard and advanced all, all of them are clubbed together right so google is trying uh, everything or they're leaving no stone unturned to try and make the interface very very easy and uh, you know very uh, easy in terms of navigation for somebody who does not have any idea about adwords as well google ads so essentially they're divided into two parts first is standard settings second one is advanced settings right so let let's start reading a little bit about the standard ones see first one is whenever you create a campaign system will ask you to give the proper name of a campaign see it is very important that you give a proper campaign name because you know if you have three campaigns it becomes very easy because you know you know you, you get those campaigns and they're only the campaign. So if, if you give like campaign one, campaign two, campaign three, you understand the first campaign is having these ads, second campaign is having these ads. But what if you have 100 campaigns or what if you have like so many campaigns where you have to scroll down and up? In that case, you know, in that situation, it becomes very tough to practically understand which campaigns have what ads and what keywords. So the first sign of matured advertiser is you always give a proper campaign name and uh, the functional significance of campaign name is you always follow a naming convention. So it becomes very, very easy. For example, if I'm creating a campaign targeting Hyderabad and the ads are digital marketing and uh, course, so I would say digital marketing course, Hyderabad aged or male 25 to 35. So I follow some naming convention pattern. You follow them for the entire list of campaign names, right? 
so that's very very easy so it becomes very easy when you are trying to filter some campaigns so because you know how you followed the naming convention and all right the second one is type so when you create a campaign system is asking you what type of campaign you want to create so i have created a search network campaign here if i come back in the top right search network now search network i told you you have search partners so when you select search partners your ad will appear on google and search partners like various other search engines that google partnered with if you uncheck your ad will appear only on google.com but google recommends most of the advertisers use a search network because search network and search partners why it will give you greater reach there's also another option called display network i would not recommend you to choose this option because if you want to create a display network campaign create a separate campaign let's not merge search and display in the same campaign so i will go with search and search partners and ignore the display network right third one is network network is nothing but again the same thing right it was earlier there now it, it does not exist because google i told you they made it uh, into a simple interface so in the earlier interface network when you choose network google had the option hey you wanted to have this or you don't want to have this right so this option means the network here so i'm 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 going further next one is when you create a campaign system is asking me what language you want your ads to be served remember guys be alert is very very important languages now when i come and click on here you find something called i think you should be having here languages language as in what language you want your ads to be served for example if i want to run my ads in japan think in japan users search on google and what language they search on google japanese so i have to create my ads in japanese because the people in japan are searching in japanese right now if i create my ads in english and target japan my ads will appear but my ads will appear to people who are in japan but searching in english why google always serves ads based on the language of the users uh, google's interface or google's search interface so you search in english right so that is exactly why you see english ads right for example i give you if you go to california you have 50% of them speaking spanish and 50% of them speak english so if you want to acquire both of them so you create two campaigns one campaign for california second campaign also for california but first campaign for california targeting english language second campaign for california targeting spanish language right so people in california searching in english your ad will appear people in california searching in spanish will also appear remember it always depends on the users language setting of the google interface so first understand what language your customer searches and then create your ads in those particular language why google does not translate ads and keywords so you have so many options to choose you can you can go and spend some time audiences i would talk about this there is a separate concept called rlsa remarketing list for search ads when i would talk about that i would emphasize more on the importance of rlsa and uh, what's the difference between normal campaign and the rlsa campaigns right so rlsa is you can do remarketing on search network as well i will not talk about this right let's come back to my sheet languages now next one is devices devices as in see devices wherever you go they are classified into three types right first one is laptop laptop desktop second one is mobile third one is tablet now laptop and desktop they are categorized in one bracket because you know they both are stereotype device you can you can carry them and you don't find people searching on laptop on roads right it's similarly desktop so devices remember the three types laptop desktop mobile tablets right but 2015 was a year where mobile exceeded desktop right so if you go back into history 5 6 years back when you were running google ads you had the option to choose whatever devices you want to target but now you don't have the option in search network i'm saying by default your ads will be targeted to all devices you don't have the option to choose hey i want to show my ads on laptop i don't want to show my ads on mobile you don't have the option so when you create a campaign by default your ads will appear on all devices but why would i waste my money on mobile devices when i know my business doesn't run on mobile and google is telling me to target all devices hey my business doesn't run but still when you create a campaign by default you're targeting all three devices but there is a feature in adwords i have i will discuss that in my future videos called bid adjustment remember bid adjustment using bid adjustment what you can do is you can restrict your ad from appearing on whatever device hey i don't want to show my ads on mobile so i can simply restrict it hey i don't want to show my ads on mobile or desktop i can restrict it so when you create a campaign your ads will appear on all devices but you can restrict 
and serve your ads only on devices that you want to using bid adjustment. Right, so you don't have the option of devices here because by default your ads will target all devices. Next one you have it as location targeting. Location targeting is where you want your ads to be served. Where you want your ads to be served. You see, if you come here, yeah, right. Again, you have the option. You can go and choose where you want your ads to be served. Remember the two things: their target and exit and exclude. If I say here Hyderabad, it will show me Hyderabad. You see, I can simply click on Hyderabad. Hey, I don't want to show my ads. For example, in Chennai, right? Just imagine I don't want to show my ad. Maybe I want to create a separate campaign target in Chennai so I can click exclude. So when I click on target, my ad will appear to people searching from Hyderabad. When I click on exclude, my ad will appear in that particular location, right? And you have an advanced search as well. When you go to advanced search, here you have the option to go and choose radius targeting, menu. or you can even add bulk locations. You can add up to thousand locations in one single single go. If you want to add more, then you can do that in two two in two parts. Right now, there's something called location options advanced. Here you have target exclude. In this, you have three options. Now, what is my target location, uh, people? I'm targeting Hyderabad, correct? And Hyderabad, my ads will appear. That's what I said, right? So when I select this option, people in Hyderabad will see my ads. People who are not in Hyderabad will also see my ads. Hey, what are you saying? I am saying my ads should appear in Hyderabad, but you are telling me my ads will appear to people not in Hyderabad. Yes, it will appear. How can that happen? Think a person in Jamshedpur. From Jamshedpur, if you type something like this, digital marketing training in Hyderabad, he is of course in Jamshedpur, but he is looking for Hyderabad. My ad will appear. Why? I have targeted Hyderabad, but see what I have selected: people in or who show interest in. No, Prashant, I don't want like that. I want my ad to people who are physically in Hyderabad. Remember, who are physically in Hyderabad. So then you can go with this option. So when you select this option, your ad will appear to people who are physically in Hyderabad. But when people search from Jamshedpur. As if they are searching in Hyderabad or people digital market training in Hyderabad, your ad will not appear because you said you want your ads to appear to people in Hyderabad. Same goes with exclude. I am not emphasizing this. You have to work in real time. There are some certain reports called geographic report and user location report, which will emphasize as to how your ads are running, which locations are running, right? Then next, you have daily budget. Every time you create a campaign, you have to keep a budget. Remember, budget in AdWords the daily budget. You come here, here. I think there is something called budget here. Yeah, budget. Budget means, for example, when I create a campaign, if I say if I say twenty dollars, Google will run my campaign, this particular campaign, for twenty dollars every day. Every day, it is not at twenty dollars and stop it. Today at twenty dollars, tomorrow twenty dollars, every day at twenty dollars. Right now, there is a concept called over delivery. I am creating one extra video uh, called over delivery. You can watch that. The over delivery concept is if you put twenty dollars, Google can give you clicks worth of forty dollars. Now twenty dollars, it will not give you twenty clicks. It will give you clicks worth of twenty dollars. Right now, every campaign you should have a budget. Budget is divided into two parts: shared budget, individual budget, individual budget only for that particular campaign. Shared budget, you can give one budget and you can share them across multiple campaigns. Right? You can learn them in real time when you work on big accounts. You understand the functional significance of it. Right? And uh, they have something called bidding. Bidding is how you want to pay and how much you want to pay. Right? Bidding thing. So many types of bidding strategies. There's separate video particularly for bidding. There are two types. Two part. Two types. Two types. First is automatic bidding. Second one is manual. Manual bidding. You decide how much you want to pay. It is in your control. Automatic bidding. You choose the strategy and Google will bid. Based on the strategy that you select. For example, I want conversion. System will try and bid in such a way that you get conversions. But if you go with manual CPC, system will bid for your keywords, right? No, in manual CPC, you have the control to bid for your keywords, right? So you to find out what you can do, I I go to you know previous bidding options. You have all the options here. Right, automatic bidding strategies, manual. Automatic. There's so many bid strategies. I am creating one particular video for each of these bid strategies. Stay connected. Watch the entire channel. This will give you a comprehensive idea about how you can use bid strategies for particular objectives of your campaigns. Not right? manual CPC. So I go with manual CPC. That means I have the control, so I can choose how much I want to bid at all. And next, you have something called CPC. CPC bid limit is only available when you are into automatic bidding. Let's go, guys. If I go, I go automatic bidding. The name of automatic bidding is called maximize clicks. Maximize clicks system will bid. You see, Google automatically sets your bids. Had it been manual, then I have the control at bids, right? Right. In maximize clicks, Google will bid automatically, or Google will set bids automatically. In such a way that you get more clicks within your budget, right? And maximize clicks. System will bid, but Prashant, I want system to bid, but I don't want system to bid beyond two dollars. 
or one dollar so i can give it here maximum cpc bid limit it is available for automatic bidding if i go with manual bidding you don't have the option of cpc bid limit because the bids are in your control you can choose however you want how much ever you want you can increase it decrease it right and there are other bid strategies as well target cpa target ROAs, maximize clicks maximize conversions i have a particular video dedicated to serve this purpose in the channel as you continue to watch my other videos in this playlist you would come across this make sure you watch this this will give you a comprehensive idea right they're very very important because each of the bit strategies will serve one particular purpose or one assignment or one goal whatever you have for your campaigns right so bidding bidding right cpc bidding i told you it's available only for what bidding strategy automatic bidding strategy bidding strategies remember there are two types I'm sorry there are two types bidding strategies you have automatic and manual manual is you have the control automatic right so these are called as standard settings now when you go back to advanced settings you have something called start date and end date means Prashant, i'm creating a campaign today i want to run my campaign from november so when i create a campaign today i can give the date as november and my ads will start from november i can give an end date as well so you don't have to start it you don't have to stop it automatically they will run now Prashant, i'm creating a campaign and i don't give start date if you don't give start date, your ads will run from today. That means the start date by default will be today's date or the campaign creation day's date. Ad delivery, there are two types of ad delivery. There are two types of ad delivery. I'll write it here. I'll show you standard delivery. And accelerated. Standard delivery is nothing but something like this. If I put a budget of $20, right so what system does is that's a budget that's a daily budget right so budget is daily budget so if i put 20 dollars for a campaign i am telling computer hey i want to spend 20 dollars for this day or throughout the day so what system does is hey 20 dollars very less so it might be exhausted in like three hours and four hours and rest of the ads rest of the time your ads will not run so system proactively does this it serves the ads for some time stops it serves the ad for some time stops it then serves the ad for some time stops it why the system's intention is to serve the ads throughout the day no prashant i want to run my ads continuously until my budget is over you can go with accelerated delivery so let me go back and show you where you find them if you go back to budget when you create a uh, where's the budget where did we get the budget yeah, budget. Yeah, you see budget here. Shared standard, accelerated standard. Spend budget evenly over time. Accelerated. Show ads as quickly as possible until budget is over. Now again, budget. There are two types of budget: individual budget, shared budget. Individual budget is the twenty dollars. That means this campaign will take twenty dollars every day for this campaign, right? Now, if you have one campaign, remember one campaign, four ad groups. If I have forty dollars budget, each ad group will take how much? Generally, people say 10. No, no, not allowed. Budget is not ad group level setting, people. Budget is a campaign level setting. So if you give $40 budget to a campaign and you have four ad groups, any ad group can take anything. This ad group can take the entire 40. This ad group can take 20 and 10 and 10. The last ad group might not even get. So it all depends on how many people are searching, right? No, Prashant, I want each ad group should take 10, 10, 10, 10. Then you rather create four campaigns. But Prashant, it becomes too tough. Then you can write automated rules. You can write automated rules to stop serving the ads in a particular ad group when a condition is met. And that condition will be cost of the ad group reaches $10, don't serve the ads. Right? But again, it's a very advanced topic that you would learn in real time when you work with agencies or when you work one-on-one -on, -one on a very big account that you understand the functional significance of it. Right? Standard accelerated. Right? And then you have something called start date and end date. I have to show you start date and end date. So when you come down here, you will have somewhere called start date and end date. You see, by default it is June 27th, right? Right. And then you have ad rotation. Ad rotation is how do you want to rotate the ads? How do you want to rotate the ads? Generally, by default, it is recommended to go with optimize. Optimize what system does is it will rotate the best performing ad. Now, when you create a campaign, Google always recommends you to write at least three ads. Now, when you write three ads, remember the policy of the ad group is any keyword can trigger any ad. But when you select this option called ad rotation, what system does is it will perform in such a way that the best ad is served more often. 
right do not optimize again you know it doesn't take any anything into account all the ads will be served irrespective of which is performing what is not performing earlier had something called rotate evenly where all the ads will be rotated email that means each of the ad will get equal chance or equal number of impressions but now it is always recommended that you go with optimize right and then you have ad scheduling ad scheduling is very important feature i want to write one point here for ad scheduling ad scheduling always works based on the account time so guys if you watched my previous videos i told you you create you give the account time zone when you're creating the account that's an account level setting you can't change that but google allows you to change the time zone once in the lifetime currency can never be changed remember so ad scheduling is nothing but prasham there are certain businesses who want to run the ads at particular times they want to run the ads on mondays morning and evening tuesdays only afternoon wednesdays only morning thursdays only in the night fridays they don't want to run right why do you want to run the ads throughout the day when you know your business does not run continuously throughout the day so i want to run my ads only in those times so google gives you the options where you can flexibly run your ads in those times where your customers are searching or when your customers are searching right so that is called ad scheduling by default it is scheduled to all day but i can go and choose whatever day i want but remember there is a very very critical thing here in one day you can only have six schedules you can only have six schedules if you want to go beyond six schedules there is another video in this playlist where i have spoken about how you can you know schedule your ads for each day 24 times and and that will happen by using scripts there is a script right so you use scripts and you schedule for more than 6 hours which is not generally allowed in the tool you can do that by using apis and scripts so there's another video you can continue to watch the entire sequence of videos you would come across that that's a great video you must go through that right but remember prashant i am i've created the account in india good and i'm running my ads in hyderabad good because they both share the same same time zone but prashant i have created the account in india but i want to run the ads in australia i want to run my ads in australia prashant indian time zone ads running in australia so you create location targeting of the campaign as australia that means you want your ads to be served in australia but remember the australian time zone indian time zone is different if you run the ads monday 9 o'clock i told you ad scheduling always works on the basis of account time zone so if i select monday 9 o'clock monday when we reach 9 o'clock australia already reaches 2 o'clock right so your ads will run in australia from 2 o'clock in the afternoon which is not good so what i have to do i will do this i will select monday and i will run my ads from 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the morning in india why when we run the ads at 3 o'clock in the morning in india our ads are not appearing in india our ads are appearing in australia and when india reaches 3 3:30 australia reaches 9 o'clock in the morning so this way your ads will run in 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 the perfect times but if you're targeting multiple okay i want target america i want to target australia don't put both of them in the same campaigns because they'll 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 get conflicted right so create two different campaigns one campaign for australia one campaign for uh, usa and and schedule them and schedule in such a way that you counter calculate the time right so if i am running ads in america i would run the ads in india in the night time but remember ads are not running in india in the night time ads are running in those in, in the us and when india reaches night they reach morning right so remember this one important feature ads scheduling always works on the basis of account time zone they don't work on the basis of the users time zone so you have to counter calculate frequency capping this is only available for display network only available for display network frequency capping is nothing but i want to i want to show my ads to one person not more than five times so that means when you give this option your ad will not appear to one person more than five times this is only available for display network why display network we go and show ads search network they come and search and this option is not available search network because they come and search right ip exclusions this is a, this is a feature this is this you will find after you create the campaign once you create the campaign you go to settings you will find ip exclusions ip exclusions is you take the ip address where you don't want your ads to be served you put them and google will not serve your ads to these people even though they search term matches your keywords campaign url options in a very advanced video in in this campaign url options you use tracking templates value track parameters and custom parameters there's a separate video not in this playlist there's a separate video in this channel but it's a very advanced video for people who work at an expand at a deeper level at an intense level so you can watch the other videos in the in the channel and you would come across these videos and uh, you know continue to learn and increase your knowledge and try and become a better at google ads uh, professional and try and use ads in a way which will drive more results more growth
right? So these are the options that you have at campaign level. And every time you create a campaign, you have to give these settings. Remember one thing I want to tell you, Google will never give you IP addresses. Never give you. It is your job to get the IP address and put them in the IP exclusion domain. Right. So the next topic will be ad extensions here, but I would recommend you not to create ad, ad extensions from campaign level settings. There's a separate place called ad extensions. You create ad extensions there and apply ad extensions from that place called ad extensions. Right. Thank you so much. Continue to watch my other videos in this playlist. I bet by the time you watch all these videos on the channel, you'd be a master at using Google ads and you'd be very, very familiar with using or, or with all the features of ads and you want to learn to implement them and understand the functional significance. I repeat the word functional significance. You go to an institute or learn from somebody. You don't go to learn these things in an institute to waste your time. You learn all these things and go to an institute to practically work and get that practical experience. That is what you should be uh, uh, working with. And, and, and again, institutes are not marketing companies. They don't have clients. You can't learn from somebody who don't even manage like crores of rupees. You can't do that. You can't say I worked on one business model and I'm expert. No. Though you're working on one business model, the moment you change your business model, everything goes different, right? Everything is different. You, your results are different. Your strategies are different. Your ads are different. Your, your approach is different. Your investments will be different, right? So you can't just become an ads expert by, by working on one account, right? Never going to happen. You have to work with multiple business models, understand how they think. And that's when you become a professional advertiser. Thank you so much. And uh, I would see you soon with another video in this playlist. Thank you. And, uh, and I see you. Thank you.